Uh, this is Danny Donovan, and if you're not familiar with me, I make ADHD comics and threads on Twitter and TikTok videos. I do public speaking. I just, I'm very ADHD about my ADHD content. So uh, I'm also the uh, kind of founder and creator of the Neurodiver Squad hashtag, which I'm really excited and I would say surprised, but um, so I don't say excited is the right word, uh, but impressed and um, overjoyed about how many people have used this hashtag. Neurodiverse Squad has been a place for those of us who have felt really different our whole lives to find community and feel like we belong. Belonging isn't something that every one of us is accustomed to, especially uh, those of us with ADHD. And I wanted to talk really briefly about how it all kind of got started uh, for those who don't know the Neurodiver Squad origin story. I had kind of been told um, from a couple people that I shouldn't use, you know, the phrase you guys uh, because there are people who don't uh, appreciate that and uh, might be offensive to certain groups of people. And I also had one person who reached out from the uh, native community who told me that like ADHD tribe didn't really resonate um, and felt a little co-opted. So between those two things, I was thinking like, what's, okay, I can't say ADHD tribe, I can't say you guys, uh, what are some different options that I have to still connect with this community and feel like it's a place of belonging. And so Neurodiverse Squad was sort of born, right? Uh, because truly these people have become my friends and my family. I talk to people I've met on the internet more than I talk to a lot of people I know in real life. So I just can't stress enough how grateful I am for everyone who participates in this community everyone who's told a story about their ADHD. Us sharing our experiences and our struggles and our little little victories is really what helps to decrease that stigma because it encourages, inspires, um, and allows other people to feel more comfortable coming forward with their stories. And it just has this really big ripple effect that talking about this like unspeakable thing really helps us to alleviate some of that shame and find out like, oh, I'm not the only person who feels this way. A lot of us have felt alone and different our whole lives. So it's a powerful thing to be vulnerable and feel comfortable, especially on social media where a lot of the time people are only wanting to post the highlight reels of their lives uh, and what they're proud of and to come out and say, you know, I'm not proud of my teeth because I avoid making dentist appointments and I struggle with laundry and all this basic adulting stuff that I feel like I should be able to do. Talking about my messy kitchen makes people feel and accept their messy kitchen and put a reason to, oh, that's not on any kind of symptom list, but it makes sense as to why that's hard now. So I just really want to thank everyone for participating in this community and for truly being a part of something bigger than ourselves. It's making a huge difference. I've heard from hundreds of people who have seen posts like mine and gotten diagnosed recently and as adults. So keep doing what you're doing, uh, keep speaking up about it, and I'm just so excited to see what the future holds. So I hope everybody has a great day, and yeah, ta-ta for now.